YouTube is something that literally changed my life. And if you're watching this video, you're probably wondering how you can become a full-time content creator like me. First of all, big shout out and thank you to YouTube for sponsoring this video and letting me talk about my own creator journey. Most of you probably already know about the YouTube Partner Program and that you can earn money from ad revenue on YouTube, but YouTube actually has multiple ways through the Partner Program that you monetize. You also can monetize in ways beyond the YouTube Partner Program, but it is probably the best place to start. Now, what YouTube does is it actually pays you for ad revenue on your videos. You get paid basically a specific amount for every 1,000 views on your videos. This can vary from video to video based on your topics, your subject matter, also how many ads you place in the video. Those kind of things all play a role. You also can get direct donations through the YouTube Partner Program on your live streams, through Super Chats, and on your recorded videos with Super Thanks and Super Stickers. There's also a recurring revenue model with channel memberships for monthly support from your audience and community. And there are some other parts of the YouTube Partner Program that we can talk about later. What I wanna do though is show you the lifetime revenue that I've earned as a YouTube Partner directly from my channel. During my time as a content creator, through the YouTube Partner Program, I've earned well over $300,000 for all of my content. That's across 40 million plus views on my main YouTube channel. This is not all the money I've ever made from YouTube, but it is significant. My biggest overall income stream as a full-time content creator, though, is what most YouTubers typically do when they want to be full-time, and that's sponsorship and brand deals. Being able to work with companies that I authentically use and care about, YouTube itself being a primary example sponsoring this video, has allowed me to make a significant amount of revenue. I actually normalized making over $100,000 a year working with brands and sponsors, not only with promotional videos on my own YouTube channel and social media, but also representing brands on their accounts in social media and their YouTube channels. In my case, as an education channel that deals with other content creators and people who want to make a full-time living doing this, primarily this focuses around the hardware and software that I use in my business as a full-time creator. If you wanna be a full-time content creator, I firmly believe that one of the best ways to get there is to diversify with multiple streams of income. You can start with multiple streams of income that the YouTube Partner Program itself offers in terms of diversifying because you can have channel memberships as a monthly recurring revenue that comes from support from your audience. You can do live streaming and get direct fan funding and support through Super Chat donations. You also have that opportunity during those live streams to promote things like affiliate links. It doesn't have to only be the Amazon Influencer Program. YouTube has an affiliate program through YouTube Shopping as well that lets you tag products in your videos and you do get a commission for every one of those purchases. So that is something that you can actually expand into if you're the type of person that has an audience that would buy the products that you recommend. And of course, there's ad revenue from your videos, but you also get paid for watch time from YouTube Premium from viewers that have that service and don't want to see ads on their videos, but you still get compensated and paid as a creator for them watching anyway. And of course, there's ad revenue from the YouTube Shorts feed. When you are part of the YouTube Shorts creator pool, you're able to be paid on short form content and not just long form content. Obviously, long form content makes much more money long-term in revenue, but there is an opportunity if you have a short-form audience. Because I'm an education-based content creator, I'm able to sell digital products and coaching, but that's not for everybody, especially if you do entertainment. If you do entertainment on YouTube, you probably are gonna be better served selling print-on-demand and merchandise directly to your audience. It's something I've talked about on the channel and made videos about before. This is another opportunity for you to directly sell and promote using things like the YouTube community tab or even during your videos or your live streams. If I wasn't doing education based content, this is something that I would prioritize since it allows me to make significant money using my platform and having a direct transaction with my audience where they're able to support me by buying something that I've made, especially for them. Now, when you're starting off, if you're not a viral content creator, this doesn't jump off and make money right away. It's a slow process. That's why I also like the idea of these different types of revenue streams. I feel that if you go ahead and if you have a plan for how your channel is going to make money, in the long run, you can be more successful than if you're just trying to get by winging it. If your goal is to be a full-time content creator 
and not just express yourself, but really want to profit from your passion, I would align yourself with something you're not only very passionate about, but that you're very good at, above average at maybe, and then understand who the audience for that really is and how it's going to make money. For me, this has been something that's been very important when I've worked with creators to help them really understand how to build a successful YouTube channel, not just a popular one, but one that's able to provide them with a good source of income and let them be full time and stay full time. I never went viral for my content. It's actually just been a result of the compound interest of catering to my community. Not every video will get a ton of views. I have videos on this channel that might struggle their way to 10,000 views and other videos that the community loves that get 100,000 views on their uploads. In either case, this doesn't necessarily happen right away. I remember a video that struggled to get 1,000 views in its first day and 10,000 views in its first six months. Today, that video has 160,000 views has brought over 500 new subscribers to the channel and has made me well over, I think, $1,000 on that video. It also had the added bonus of growing my email list. And it was a tutorial I made on how to make green screen videos very easily. And it's because that video was evergreen and had utility, it could go ahead and it could continue to earn me views, subscribers, and ad revenue forever. It probably will keep doing successfully over the next two years for all I know. So if things are going slow, I need you to trust the process a little bit. Believe in the longevity of what you're doing and that eventually your passion can pay off if you have the patience and if you're putting in the work to improve and become 1% better every time you upload. Most content creators who get to achieve sustainable full-time status make hundreds of videos in order to be able to support their channel and their back catalog with content that is evergreen that people can watch whenever they want and this allows them to have higher and higher daily view counts instead of sporadic bouts of virality if you do happen to go viral that's great but it's not necessarily a strategy for sustainable long-term success. This is also why I believe in making sure that you're diversifying the different ways that you can make income from your content as a YouTuber so that every single video has multiple opportunities to make you money. And this is something I figured out early on, and I think it's attributed to a lot of my success today. For me, YouTube and the opportunity to be a full-time content creator has really been truly life-changing because to give you some context here, if you don't know my story, when I was an employee working a nine to five job as a marketing manager, this is many years ago and I lived in a small town, I was making about 30, $35,000 a year. In the long term with YouTube, I've been able to 10X that income and make as much as $300,000 a year. And as I said earlier, this was not overnight and it's not because I ever made any viral content on my platform. It's all a result of being able to have multiple income streams that do very well for me and being able to have a community that may not always provide the most views, but also provides me a steady living because of the fact that they're a buying audience. By supporting me, not only through the ad revenue on views, but donations, super chats, and also what I'm able to do through my own direct business, as well as partnerships with brands and affiliate marketing, these primary income streams are what allow me to be a full-time content creator and make a substantial six-figure income. And while I do most of this as a solo content creator who still shoots, edits, and makes all of their thumbnails and does everything like a madman, I do hire help within my business for the coaching side of things. And I'm able to have a team of friends and family that I'm able to support and that are able to support me, which has been an amazing change in the way that I do things. Videos can be optimized for almost any situation. They can be as long or short as they need to be to create value. The key here is to understand how you're putting your audience first and what they value the most and why they value that. When it comes to revenue and making money, I've already told you the different ways that I make money on my channel. The YouTube Partner Program is the foundation and the first stop on that list. It is the way that I know I will immediately make some money for my effort as long as the videos are getting viewed. 
This is a lot of the advice that I wish I'd had and insights that I wish had been available when I was first starting as a content creator. Most creators were not sharing their journey or sharing any of their experience, expertise, or secrets when I first started out in content creation. But I believe that with this kind of transparency, more of you can be successful content creators in the future. And I wish you tremendous success on your YouTube journey because I think a lot of you are going to be bigger and better than me one day. So thanks again to our friends over at YouTube for letting me tell my story, share my journey with you, and sponsoring this video. If you want to become a full-time content creator, you should definitely check out the videos in the playlist in the description of this video. Stay awesome, and I'll see you next time. Take care.